Hey guys, it's me, Yubi Programmer here, and today I am gonna be discussing about a project uh, which is student marks prediction. So uh, let's just jump right into what we have and what we are gonna build. So uh, if I run my Flask application, it will create a server for us and we will visit this website, right? And this can be obviously hosted online. So this is like main interface of the project. Uh, 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 I wanna tell you guys, this is a very uh, like uh, beginner friendly uh, project. So if you are new into data science or uh, machine learning, so uh, you can contact me uh, with the contact numbers below and uh, I will be discussing more about the source code and other things about this project, right? So uh, this is the Floss application and you can see uh, I got the number there and uh, the heading says student marks prediction. And uh, uh, I have added a little bit uh, description about the project. So uh, what you have to uh, do in order to use this application is enter the study hours per day, right? So uh, how much uh, you are gonna uh, spend in studying, right? Uh, how much time you're gonna spend in studying per day and obviously uh, the uh, 1 to 12 hours is uh, should be range and uh, we can't study more than 12 or maybe some, some other uh, some people can right uh, but this is like general and this intelligent website application uh, will uh, try to predict your marks percentage for the exam with the help of machine learning algorithm right and uh, let's just uh, write a number so uh, let's say uh, i will study four hours a day right uh, for my exam and uh, our machine learning algorithm say you will get like 66.19 percent in your exam good luck right so uh, how this uh, like machine learning algorithm works and uh, why this is thing like i'm getting uh, 66.19 percent because uh, we already gave uh, our machine learning algorithm a data uh, let's just do one more prediction and we'll talk about code yeah. you can see uh, if i just uh, increase my uh, number of hours so uh, this is obvious like i'm getting more marks right in my exam so let's just go to our uh, main project and uh, as a data scientist you should know that let me close it down you should know that uh, for, for making the project for, uh, and do like uh, data analysis uh, you should use uh, Jupyter Notebook which is like IPYNB Python Notebook and uh, so let's talk about code now right so I imported the libraries which will be like um, we, I'll be using yeah, further. So uh, what was my data right? So let me just uh, show you my data. Uh, it contains the study hours and the student marks right. So the student is studying like uh, 6.83 hours or you can say 7 hours. Uh, he is getting uh, 78.5. I just took it from uh, Kaggle. Uh, I think you should know about it right you all mm, have the idea about Kaggle and I just uh, loaded the data set and you can see our data set contain two uh, variables or you can say one feature and one label right this is the label student marks and this is the feature and you can see we have like nine values and uh, these empty values should be uh, taken care of we will take care of uh, further in the project and uh, this was the head and this was the tail of our data set and shape and all that and you know, like info basic info uh, the stats uh, basic stats about the uh, project and uh, I have uh, already made videos about these uh, in my other channel so uh, you can just uh, google about it or maybe uh, call me with my number in the description below right if you have any uh, doubts about the project okay so we uh, just 
we have plotted student study hours and student marks uh, in our uh, MacWork library and you can see a linear relation uh, so as the stu uh, study hours increases student marks are also increasing right and then uh, you can see we have some uh, null values so I ju I'm just uh, replacing it with the mean right the average of the uh, study hours I will uh, replace these NAND values and you can see fill NA uh, and uh, uh, I have filled it with the mean of the study hours right and then we just uh, do the train test separating and then we train our model on that uh, I just applied the linear regression and the accuracy was good enough for me so uh, I just uh, wanted to deploy an own flask and like that the idea of the variables uh, which I am using right like how to send data from HTML to a flask and flask to HTML and deal with, the, with, uh, with that data uh, with the help of machine learning algorithm right this was the main motive of the project and yeah so we just fit uh, our machine learning model on our training data and then we do uh, we we'll do some predictions uh, on the y period act like uh, our test variables our test data set you can say and then we just uh, concatenate these two uh, variables which was like original marks and the predicted marks so you can see 82 was original percentage the student was getting and our model predicted that the student uh, will get 83 points on that so uh, there is very little like difference right and then I just uh, find the accuracy of my project which is 95 percent uh, not bad uh, but uh, this accuracy can definitely be increased by using other models uh, for regression so we can always do that right and uh, you can see the uh, like uh, we are getting uh, almost 10 to 12 decimal places right and this uh, this percentage will be like uh, we, uh, we will tune it into uh, up to two decimal places so i will tell you how right and then uh, we just uh, for verification purpose how our data is like our model is uh, performing we just plotted it and you can see we are getting a linear relationship again right and then i just uh, dump our model and make a pickle of our model with the help of job lib and you can see i got this file right and okay and this file i'm getting and then i can just use my model and make predictions right uh, with the help of like this one and now the main thing uh, after you like uh, make a uh, make a model is deployment right because nobody is uh, going to see your notebook and like uh, do stuff with your code in this command line right you have to give them a web application to to which user can interact right so i just uh, make a flask app uh, which is like mm, rendering a template uh, let me show you the template and i use bootstrap for the css part because i uh, mostly focus on the machine learning algorithm and that part only okay so there is a form uh, which asks the uh, for the study hours and then the study hours will be passed uh, into this variable right uh, and then this uh, study hours is a string uh, we have to convert it into an integer in order to feed it into our model right so uh, then we are like uh, this is the same command if you just recall it like this command uh, this five is uh you can say uh, replaced by the uh, whatever uh, number of study hours the uh, user will enter right and then with the help of this command uh, uh, string formatting we are just uh, 
limiting the uh, floating value up to two decimal places, right? And then we are rendering this template display HTML with the uh, marks, right? We are like passing the marks into display dot HTML, and in display dot HTML you can see I have like uh, written this you will get and then this marks whatever our uh, model will be like uh, giving the result uh, with the help of this predict function we are displaying it there right in your exam good luck so this was the project and if you like want to talk about the source code or uh, maybe uh, wanna get it or uh, do some other projects like that uh, and you want a mentorship program uh, do uh, like the video and contact me from whatsapp right or mail like you can go to my website and uh, you can see uh, my whatsapp number or mail and i have uh, written that in my description also so that's it guys uh, for today i will come back with the next project very soon.